Moin, moin und hallo. Herzlich willkommen. Rocket Beans TV live von der Gamescom. Jetzt mit einem absoluten Highlight. Zum einen natürlich der Gregor neben mir ist ein absolutes Highlight. Aber wir haben ja. zwei Gäste von Naughty Dog. Das ist der Arne und der Eric. Hi, guys. Nice Hi. to have you on the show. Hey. So, you guys brought us Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 haben die Jungs dabei. And you're actually going to play it, right? Yes, we will play it in a little bit. So oh, that's cool. So how far, how far along is this version that you're going to show us? Uh, this is a version that uh, we locked down at E3, so it's about a month and a half old right now. Um, we've been working on it really hard since then. We still have a lot more time to go to finish it. Uh, but we're pretty happy about where this demo is right now, other than obviously the usual polish and improvements. Okay. Yeah, it's only going to get better from here, but <laughs> it's a pretty amazing what we got so far. No, but, I, but I think it's a lot of courage that you guys actually play the game, not only showing a demo. I, I, I'm not uh, sure if I uh, remember it right, but I guess at E3 you guys played live and you had a little crash and then you started over. And yeah. I actually thought this is a very good thing because you have the, the uh, guts to actually play it and not only show a demo and like faking it or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, so. we, actually that happened at PSX last December too when they fell through the, the earth there. So it's kind of a, become a tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, if I'm not mistaken, you have to uh, have a little bit of a startup time. Yeah, we have to, yeah. Something, so. have to load this up. Yeah, so uh, yeah, let's, let's talk a little bit about this. How was the reception from E3? Because uh, that was the last thing shown at the Sony press conference. Yeah, the reception was phenomenal. It was, it was amazing just to get out there. Uh, they sort of paced it out right, so we were the last one in the show, and just seeing how the crowd reacted to that was amazing. We ended up winning some really great awards. We got a lot of uh, good buzz from our fans and everything, so it was really cool. Yeah, we're usually uh, heads down working very hard to get our demos ready for E3, so we have no idea what the crowd reaction is going to be like, and it was really surprising. It was really great for us to get such a positive reaction from what we put together, and it's going to really help us, uh, you know, sort of motivate us to finish the, the rest of the game out. So you, you weren't afraid that you're overshadowed by all these other announcements, Final Fantasy, uh, The Last Guardian, everything, but it was the last thing at the show. Yeah, it's motivational. It's great. I mean, it's awesome to see that Sony's got such a great lineup coming up, and then that we're, we're a big part of that. So it's really cool. So I remember when, when the first part on Charlie came out, everybody was like jaw dropping uh, about the graphics because it really pushed the PlayStation to its limit. So what are we going to expect in terms of graphics? Is this is the same to the limit like uh, PS3? Uh, we try to do that with every single one of our games. We try to push the technology and the, the engine and the platform to the limit that we know at the time. Obviously, when you look at what we've done with PS3, you know, every game we've managed to push it to the limit even more so. Uh, but I think we're starting with a really good place here. We're going to end up uh, really sort of pushing the capabilities of our engine and our tools uh, to its fullest extent. Yeah, did, did it help to put out uh, Last of Us on PS4, so in developing, so what is it kind of a bit of a test run? Yeah, that was a huge uh, learning process for us. It was a great thing. We, we started on that like right after Last of Us PS3 shipped, and so like everything we learned um, from Last of Us Remastered, we've kind of taken into uh, the making of Uncharted 4, and it, it's, it's taught us a lot. So it's good to get a, a good feel for the hardware and, w and what tools we have at our disposal and where we can push it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you've learned from the previous Uncharted? Uh, things uh, that people uh, have f as a feedback? Is there anything specific that you wanted to change? Um, there's a lot of things. I mean, the things that keep coming up are the things that bug people, but, um, you know, like, uh, we've heard a, a few things that are uh, about how we uh, put our trophies into our games that we got to sort of look at that sort of thing. But the coolest stuff we always get to hear is, like, how do we make the, the best set piece? How do we make the highest action moment and just sort of ramp it up and up and up? Um, do you notice uh, that what you're going to see here is... Um, It's sort of like a culmination of a, a lot of attempts at doing a really cool car chase. So um, we we're gonna, it's gonna be pretty great. Yeah, that, that thing that you showed with the, with the car chase. So um, if there's a part of the game you can talk about, now that you have the, the more um, uh, capable hardware, is there something you always want to do in the older Uncharted games and now it's possible? 
Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of mechanics in it. I mean, the, the base thing that, um, you, like, Uncharted 1, there was the jet ski you could drive around, and now you're driving in a Jeep. Sam's on his motorcycle, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, having a drivable vehicle, um, it's not the first time, but it's, it's we're doing it in a meaningful way. And then a lot of the physics um, you see in the game, like the rope swing and that sort of thing, we just, it wasn't possible um, before. And now that we have all this power with the PlayStation 4, we can do it. Well, and also layering our gameplay together. So every, when we showed our demo back at PSX and you're looking at uh, how are you using the rope as part of the climbing, and then now you're using the rope in addition to uh, being on top of a vehicle. So we're able to sort of layer all of our gameplay mechanics so that you're always learning, you're having, it's opening up more options for you when you're playing the game in terms of what you want to do to explore and combat. So is there anything about uh, the riddles that you've, have you included some more of this power into the riddle so you can more be more crea even more creative? Creative. Yeah, I mean, the, the puzzle element of the game is it's sort of a hallmark of what Uncharted is. So we're, you know, those sort of things, you figure them out um, as they go along. And you don't want to make something too easy or too hard. Um, so you, you sort of have to do a lot of testing with that. But everything we learned about pa from past Uncharted games, we're sort of pouring into this one about that. So um, can you already tell something about the ratio between uh, gunplay and riddles and driving sequences? Because it's always a contention point. Some people say it's too much shooting. Some people it's not enough shooting. So is, is there really something you can say? Uh, I mean, it, it, it really, we haven't really gotten far enough to know like the whole progression. We have a top line view of where we want to go with the story. But like balancing those moment to moment interactions is it's uh, it's basically until we ship the game, that's when we sort of figure it out um, where all the balance uh, comes in from that. So a lot of people can extrapolate that after you've played the games, but like we're just making these really cool moments and we want it to sort of feed it into this great overall story right now. Mm -hmm. So that's where it is. Uncharted is not only um, an action game or a, a riddle game, it's also a game of characters. You've created some very, very cool, authentic characters. So, so what can you tell us um, about the character development? Uh, there, there's been a ton that's gone on with that. Um, the, the, one of the coolest things with the PlayStation 4, we're able to do a lot more with the rendering tech. We're able to um, you know, increase the fidelity of these characters so they look a lot more lifelike and realistic. Uh, probably one of my favorite things um, is how the characters emote. So, like, you'll notice uh, their facial expressions, like little things that humans do all the time when you, like, blink or your, uh, how your eyes move or how even your lips stick together when you smile sometimes. Um, we can do that a lot uh, more precisely with this um, iteration of the game because we have the technology to do it now and we have the power of the PlayStation 4 that lets us do a lot of it. So, um, all these, like, it's almost... I don't want to say endless, but it's like nearly endless of what sort of uh, facial expressions we can get in our characters now, which is really exciting because now when you see these sort of cinematic moments and you have they have reactions to other characters, it's going to be a lot more believable. It's going to be a lot more. Um, it's going to just feel like you're there with them, and so it's pretty cool. And in terms of like your inner character, like. Um is he like, is there a breaking point that we can expect? Like, he's always this funny guy, guys, you know, right? no matter what comes, he kills 100 people. He's always, you know, fun, like, like he's Nathan Fillion, you know, uh, sure. from, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So is there anything a darker, a darker element? Can we expect something like that? Uh, it's, you know, it's an emotional story, definitely. There's, there's a lot of, um, with Uncharted 3, we sort of dug into Drake's past and how he was, um, ruin it for some people, but you know, like how he grew up and uh, where he was and um, how he took the name of Drake and, and that sort of thing. Um, so now we're going a little bit deeper, you know, uh, he's married to Elena, what does that mean? Like, how do you balance family life with being this wild adventurer? Like, what, is, what does it mean if you want to go out on these crazy adventures versus, you know, hang out with your family a little bit? So uh, we're going to explore that aspect. I don't know if you would call that darker so much as just like 
more, it's just more grounded. It's marriage. It's, it's, it's marriage. Of course, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. So when you when you look at all three of the games, we've uh, as we've continued to explore Nathan Drake's character uh, more and learn more about him, we've learned that there's more to him than he's willing to admit. He's got a, you know, he, he had a hidden past and one that he's not been very straightforward with. So as we've continued with the games, we're exploring that a little bit more and peeling apart those layers. So you're seeing, you know, really who the man behind uh, Nathan Drake is. Mm -hmm. So one thing, um, I'm of course a, a bit more of a single player guy, so I haven't tried the multiplayer so much, but I know that it's uh, pretty popular. So I'm saying, can you tell me something about uh, the multiplayer? So that's uh, involved, so are we just here for the single player? Uh, well, we're very excited for the multiplayer. I think we're doing some really interesting things this time around, um, but we're not talking very much about that mm -hmm. right now. Uh, we'll be revealing that a little bit closer to the release date, but um, there definitely will be multiplayer in this game as well. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's a target 30 frames, not 60, just to be a bit more technical. Yeah, yeah we're, we are going for 30. Um, we found that that was the right balance for us to really blow out the visuals uh, and, and really have a great game experience with what we were trying to do. Yeah. Can, can you give us a setup? What are we going to expect now? What, what part of the game are you going to show us? Is there something, uh, background information we need to have? Sure. Um, so this takes place in Madagascar in a city um, where uh, Nathan Drake and Sully have been separated from Sam. Uh, and they've, been, uh, they've all been working towards a search to try to find this pirate island of Libertalia. Uh, and it, they're getting closer and closer to finding the clues. So uh, Nathan Drake and, Sam, and Sully are looking for Sam, and they think they've, uh, they've sort of found him where they can rendezvous. Uh, and Sam's in a little, he's always been a little bit of a trouble. So he's in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, and so now it's up to Drake and Sully to try to get him out of it. Mm -hmm. And one thing we can say, going back to the frames per second thing, with multiplayer, we are considering trying to run, make that run at 60. So um, single player will definitely be 30, but we're exploring to see if we can make multiplayer run at 60, because there's the appetite for it. So uh, in case, I, let, let me just say some things in German to our audience. Falls ihr euch fragt, warum wir nicht zeigen, das liegt natürlich daran, dass das Spiel lädt. Das ist eine Vorabversion und Das wird in der finalen Version vermutlich nicht so lange laden. So, um, do you think it's crashed or it's okay? Okay, it's going. Okay, it's going. So, yeah. Um, the ah, it's oh, no, there it is. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, there's a, there's a German saying: "Good thing will Weile haben." <laughs> you have to wait for the good things to come. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so is this uh, Drake? <laughs> the pirate, it's statue of you. Not, yeah, not that's, quite. <laughs> that's a grandpappy Drake. Yeah. Ah, okay. Come on.
coast is clear. like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. It's their damn model. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found the Vitalia. <laughs> Liber... Liber... What are you? Vitalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even Thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources. Money? They kept it all in one common treasure building. Okay. So, where is this common pirate sanctuary? Right here. That island, just northeast of King's Bay. <laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Wow. <laughs> I think I got some good bombs. <laughs> Over here, this was so intense. Yeah, do, you, do you have something to smoke afterwards? So. <laughs> wow, um, is it going on all the time like this? The, oh boy. It, thankfully, it's not always that intense. Yeah. Uh, one of the questions you asked earlier is, yeah, we've made sure that the, uh, those pacing between the intense moments yes. give you a little bit of a rest. I mean, my palms are sweating from yeah. trying to work that controller. It well, was quite a bit longer than the E3 presentation, so that one cut out when you get to the bridge, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah. this is an extended demo from the E3. Wow, um, I'm very, very impressed. I would like to play it right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm so back into Uncharted right now. I need to play it, but you won't let me, so that's fine. Um, so how, how long is the game, actually? Like in hours and play hours? So uh, I mean, we're, we're quite a ways from finishing the game yet, so it's been really hard for us to sort of quantify how yeah. long uh, the game's going to be at the end, but um, you know, all, all of our Uncharted games have roughly been about the same length. We've gone a little bit longer in the most recent times, so I would expect somewhere around that ballpark. Yeah. Well, was it the first time we saw Elena? Now, how she's or uh, I haven't been up to speed with every piece of media, but it's the first time we saw her in her current iteration. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the look of marriage, as you say at the end yeah. there. So yeah. yeah, that's the first time you see her um, in uh, the Uncharted Four. I mean, and it works. It, it's so great. You you have like this intense thrill ride, and he dies like 100 times nearly. Yeah. But you you can oh, right at the moment you you manage to stay alive, and then you get you're you're finally you're done. You you're survived. Your body survived, and you think, oh God, I'm in safety now. And you open the door, and there's Elena. And the look on her eyes, yeah. and how he reacts is. This is how you imagine marriage, you know? <laughs> this is so, it works. It was so, I, I saw Ellen and I thought, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know? The, yeah. the other guy was his brother, yeah? Yes, Sam yeah. was his brother. Yeah. yeah. So is he going to play a, a bigger role in Uncharted 4, his brother? Uh, yeah, you, well, the story of Uncharted 4 is basically how uh, his brother Sam has come back into his life. So Nathan Drake has thought that his brother has been dead uh, for a very long time. And so now his brother's come back. Uh, both with news that he may ha be on track to finding the pirate colony of Libertalia, but also that he's in trouble. So Drake has to help him get out of trouble and sort of make this choice between family and his new, his old family, his new family, sort of what's really most important in his life. So it, it looked so smooth to me, like the whole sequence. It's like you, you can't see any cut or any, like, like this is sequence number one and now you enter the next one. It's like it started when you jumped into the Jeep and I, and I was looking like if, if, if there's something starting and you're like now you're in the Jeep and there's a sequence who introduces like the action part but no you jumped in it and you jumped on the on the back seat and probably you can also jump on the front seat I, I don't know but it it's so smooth and then then you you um, went to the to the uh, driver's seat and then it's the sequence started like it's one piece you can't see any cut it's amazing yeah the that's sort of in our studio DNA. We've done that since, you know, the early 
Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter games, we've tried to make seamless uh, gameplay experiences that you just sort of get into them and you're just fully immersed in that moment. So it just kind of pushes you along. Yeah, one of the things we've talked about with this game is uh, that um, you know all of our cutscenes now are real time to even so that it is seamless between the cinematics and the gameplay as well. So there isn't any blank screen, there's no cut moment or anything. You're, you're having one holistic experience. Wow. Yeah. So, so um, how far can you deviate from the route that you're taking with the Jeep? Um, because it looks a bit open worldy, so you can choose the path. So is, is there quite a bit of variance you can take? Yeah, there is. I mean, at the end of the day, you're still going down and you're going to go towards the tower that you saw, Sam. But there's, as you saw, there are many different streets and alleyways in that sequence, and you can take any one of those. That truck is going to show up from time to time and sort of force your hand a certain direction. So the ultimate destination's the same, uh, but the path you take to get there, you have a lot of choice. So it says uh, 2016, of course, not a set place in 2016. Not early, not late, you, you're... Um, well, we're doing early 2016. Early 2016, all right. Hurry up, guys. I, I want to play. Yeah. So, we'll do um, our best. Yeah, that's it uh, for now. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. This thank was you. such an intense ride. Yeah, thank um, you for having us. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. So, you have to see it. Wow, Alter Schwede, wie krass war das denn? Hey, Alter, ich kann jetzt nicht aufstehen. Ja, ich muss jetzt mal wechseln. Was du gerade noch gefragt hast, und das war exakt das, was mir auch im Kopf schwirrte, du hast das Gefühl, um, Du kannst überall hinfahren, aber du wirst immer wieder zurückgebaut und das fühlt sich aber so flüssig an. Du hast nicht das Gefühl, dir wird irgendwas genommen. Es ist kein Schlauch. Natürlich ist es ein Schlauch, aber es fühlt sich nicht an wie ein Schlauch. Es ist, es ist eine Achterbahnfahrt, wo du einfach mal die Spuren wechseln kannst. Ja, ne? ja das ist ein gutes Bild. Wow, Wahnsinn. Also jetzt habe ich Fallout 4 gesehen und ich habe Uncharted 4 gesehen. Ich kann nach Hause gehen und sterben. Fantastisch. Also wow, ich bin richtig begeistert. Vielen äh, Dank fürs Zuschauen und euch jetzt noch äh, viel Spaß. Wir machen gleich die Recap-Show und heute um 18.30 Uhr gibt's dann uh, bonjour. So, Anna, Eric, thank you very much again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thanks. Thank Wir sind you. raus, macht's gut.